In the earlier days of uh, architecture, when we still were drawing all the drawings by hand, uh, maybe 400 details, uh, making sure you did the right measurements and you had to work with models, so everything was quite physically oriented. And that was really in 1992 or 93. Uh, built like the Erasmus Bridge, we, we thought that that was for us the moment that we bought our first computer. In that time we were already fascinated in how we could experiment with 3D modeling. We could go to the steel manufacturer and say, if you have a laser computer, maybe that will be interesting, because then we could uh, cut all the laser work into um, the quite unusual shape uh, we were in that time uh, generating for the Erasmus Bridge. The next project was the Arnhem train station project, whereby we, for the first time, worked already with data management of uh, where and how different user groups we're coming onto the locations. And we called it the channeling system, so that the visual and density elements were framed in a tube-like channeling system, so that organizational, systematic uh, approaches towards design can help you to, um, to find form, in a way to find uh, an articulation of, an, uh, of a shape you'd like to introduce in a building, but not the other way around. Uh, so that you first make an image and then you see how uh, the whole project can be uh, organized. That would never work in my opinion. The same we did for the Mercedes-Benz uh, Museum. Developed a particular scripting strategy. Uh, the client was suddenly saying, huh, are you coordinating everything between the contractor and the subcontractors? I think we have close to 12 managers working on that right now, what do they do? And we said, yeah, I think we are faster. And, and we communicate most of the stuff uh, ourselves. So, you know, that generated a whole new efficiency also in the way how we manage the project. And I've learned that is what we, of the years, uh, are doing better and better, especially on very complex projects. We thought it needs to be integrally uh, organized. Um, as if you walk through the time machine of the history of uh, uh, the brand. Uh, so through new computational strategies we came to the idea to make a double spiral in the way how the, the history of the car and the collection of the cars could be combined and that you could always step over from one routing to the other routing. Close to 13 different plateaus and the building looks from the outside as if it is a uh, building uh, of uh, three floors only. See, all these kind of uh, things came up already in the 90s, whereas, of course, uh, today the discussion is even worse when we talk about AI, uh, if we might lose our creativity in design. And, and I, I've never believed that. I always believed that, that technology is only an instrument or the way how you could use your imagination and how you can bring your design further to, to the built environment.